His last name is Chestnut. His older brother Robert is... Mr. President, I... You know the foam lobster claws student council sells every year? The entire shipment of this year's claws has been stolen. You want me to write a statement? Here's the 411 on the 911. I ordered the claws last week. They were delivered to the High Lie Arena yesterday afternoon. Monday. Right. After practice, I checked on them and went back to my office. I was there a couple hours working on an initiative to make Hallway 6B one way. This morning. Sorry. Duty calls, peeps. It's all over the school, man. Everybody knows you're biffing the case. Peter, you're a chestnut, and chestnuts don't biff anything. I heard Oscar was a suspect, and I figured if I scoped out the place before you arrived, maybe I could uncover a clue and leave it for Peter to find. Course he did! He's a chestnut! I'm glad I came by to see how things were going. Looks like my little bro's gonna honor the family name after all. I was just trying to check whether everything was in order. I didn't expect you to be there so soon. I didn't want to tarnish the chestnut name. That's only you need to know, Peter. Look, I helped you by insisting that Oscar confess directly to you. It made you look like the star safety patroller the rest of us were. You see, Peter? I tried to be perfect, like Chuck and Chippy. But my handwriting, ah, oh, my handwriting. Instead of reading we're number one, the claw order form read weenie number seven. I couldn't let anybody know. I don't make mistakes. Chestnuts just don't. Officer Fillmore, right? I suppose I could make up some excuse for why we're here, but we all know the truth. Allow me to introduce Carter Burns. If Carter doesn't maintain a B average, his parents don't let him go skiing in Aspen this year. What's your excuse? Maybe I just don't like to study. Does it really matter? The issue here is that you appear to be in our way. Uh. No thanks, Mrs. Cornwall. We were just on our way to watch some travel programming. Right, guys? Calm yourself. I didn't see any tracks leading away from the school. Listen up, Fillmore. You can walk out of here. All we want is the test. He must have stashed it somewhere in the school. I've worked too hard not to ace that final. We'll simply keep Fillmore here until we find the test ourselves. Mitch, stay here and keep an eye on him. Me? Just do it. It's not flat, it's just a little low on air. Well, the important thing is, we tried our the best. The important thing is, we got our buns What? Come on, Gerald, we had fun. And we almost beat them. Why do you do that, Arnold? Why do you always have to look on the bright side? Somebody has to. Mr. Green, what's going on? What's wrong with old things? Some old things are great. No, no singing, Eugene. No, this is serious. Grandpa? What's going on? You know what this is about. It's our last chance to stand up and tell future tech industries that we won't sell. We won't let them tear down our neighborhood. Yeah! But we filed a permit. Grandma? Wait, where are you all going? Come back. Only two more days now. Gotta be some way we can stop the bulldozers. I just want to do something. Baby carriage, 10 o'clock. I see it. What are you guys doing? Grandma! But I thought they were just gonna keep her for one night. She Grandpa, did that actually happen? Grandpa, don't sell the boarding house. I'm gonna track down that document and save the neighborhood. Right, we're gonna find that document, deliver it to the mayor, prove that the neighborhood is a legal national landmark, and stop the bulldozers from knocking it down. Right. Sorry, Helga, we're just in a hurry. We've gotta find a government document that can save the neighborhood. <laughs> but Mr. Bailey, if we don't find that document, everything's gonna be torn down. Mr. Green's butcher shop, Mrs. Vitello's flower shop? Bowling alley? Slauson's ice cream? Please, I don't want to lose my patience with you. Dolly's donuts? I know. But hey, what can you do? Where can we find him? What about the document? You're going out to the peninsula, right? They've got the document? Then we'll make an appointment. But we heard there was a government document that says the whole neighborhood is a national landmark and can never be torn down by anybody. That went well. There's gotta be something. Then, we evade the security guards, and if we make it that far, all we have to do is head uptown, find the mayor, and deliver the document so she can declare the neighborhood a national landmark and stop the bulldozers. Gerald? That's, That's right. Right. <clears throat> oh, wait. I'm not playing, Gerald. But the document. Where's the document? <laughs> <sighs> Hello? Yeah, and then we can show the tape to the police, and it'll be as good as the document itself. We can win, Deep Voice. We can save the neighborhood. Uh, Deep Voice, tell me how I can get out of here. So, Deep Voice! Pay no attention to that man with the voice box. Who are you? I think you are. No more games, Deep Voice. I'm not doing anything until I know who you are. Helga? You? 
Your deep voice? Helga, why'd you do it? Helga. Oh, come on. What's the real reason? Oh, I... I... I, I need to think. Don't you want to save all those people's homes? Don't you care that every building from 33rd to 39th Street is going to be demolished? That's right. Hey, that's where Mona lives. Gerald, you're the top scoring runaway bus player at the arcade. You can do it. You can do it, Gerald. Because somebody has to. It's okay, Murray. We're jumping the ramp. Yay, Grandma! All I need is a VCR and I can show you what I'm talking about. You didn't really mean all that, did you? You don't really... Love me, right? Maybe if we throw something, we can get his attention. Try having some faith. If we think positive and stick together, something good will happen. Hi, Rhonda. I heard you were moving in. It is a dump. Rhonda, I live here. Yeah, I'm your bad boy. Go away. After all, I'm only going to die of misery anyway. Come on, get up. Listen to yourself. Pathetic. I mean, just because you're not rich anymore doesn't mean you're a different person. You were Rhonda when you had money, and you could still be the same Rhonda now that you don't. Unless being rich is all you're about. And where do you get all that stuff? I bet you want to stretch your wings. Someday, I'll tell the world <laughs> my love. Sometimes you sound almost human. Anyway, he's really smart. He even knows a poem by heart. Listen. What? Arnold, my love, my sultry preteen. Why must I hold you only whilst I dream? What? Will I be forever enslaved by your spell? What? You guys never know until we try. We just gotta walk up to him and tell him how it's gonna be. Who's with me? Okay, I've got another plan. How about if we get him to play a football game against each other? The loser has to go play somewhere else. Then we could make a deal with whoever wins. Beating? Actually, Ludwig sent me. He gives up. He quits. Okay. Er, uh, right after four, then. It'll be worth it, Helga. You'll see. Oh. Helga, I've got an idea. Have you noticed those two? It's like they're turning into friends or something. What's your point? Well, if they tie it up, maybe we can all get along and use the lot together. Uh, dudes, since there's no winner, maybe you can be friends now and share the vacant lot. Like I said in the first place. Looks like we'll have to go to plan B. I'll tell you as soon as I think of it. Guess you're right, Gerald. If Phoebe hadn't been doing favors for Helga, this probably wouldn't have happened. By the way, Spencer, have you had a chance to ask your father about joining the Dartmoor board yet? I forgot. Of course you did. Spencer, what's wrong, son? The stinkers are gone. We thought you weren't afraid to expel them or something. Excellent job, boys. He looks pissed. Stinkers freeze! Well, aren't you going to invite me in? I'm sorry, if you're making a delivery, go to the service entrance. No autographs or pictures, please. And if you haven't announced yourself at the gate, I must ask you to leave. I am your new nanny. I didn't have an old nanny. Well, you got a new one now. If you're making a delivery, go to the service Back off. Hey, so you've met Dylan? Yes, he's very uh, vigilant. All of a sudden, even graduating from high school wasn't important to me. But it was the only thing on earth that mattered to Corky. I know I think. I was wearing really tight shoes. I didn't have a good pencil. I think I was coming down with the flu. I got an 81! Tight shoes, a flu, and a sticky pencil, and I still got an 81! Check me out! Oh. Huh? I got it! With all the answers! Is something wrong, Jesse? Uh, I just found out that I've got an apple in my lunch! I love apples! But don't get smart too fast. It'll look real suspicious if you suddenly went from your crummy huh? B average to a B. Are you nuts? A B? I'm going all the way. Straight A just. That's me. Come on, teacher's edition. Bring it home to Papa. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. 100 on your homework. Did you say 100? Was that 100 you said? A hundred? As in the perfect one hundred? Wow. A dirty word. Here's what you do, Freddy. You multiply, divide, subtract, add a subject, a predicate, and you got your answer. What? Jeez. Do I have to do it all for you? Don't worry, Penny. Trust me. You'll win it next year. Look, I had no idea you went through all that to win. The only fair thing for me to do is get you a keychain at Monsterland. I'm doing pretty good at that, too, and... You know, Jesse, it just occurred to me, uh, why don't we show off that genius brain of yours by answering a few math problems right here? Huh? Acres! Pounds? 